Sup toy fans, we're back with some more pickups. That is Ben. That's Muggsy. We're in a very hot toy room. And this is Bugsy's, Bugsy's Toy Box. Box. Right guys, we're back. We, uh, we did a boot sale this weekend. We were stolen out at one, as you would have seen from our Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also managed to have a wander around and pick up some stuff. We did. So, oh, we've had a little bit through the post as well. Oh, and that. Uh, and Muggsy's been out shopping. And that. So, let's show you some things we got. What, what do you want to kick us off with? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's start with some boot sale bits. Mm. We got from the boot sale a whole plethora, mm. uh, but primarily... There's a big box on our Instagram, if, you'd, uh, if you guys have had a look. Yeah, primarily we got uh, a lot of GoBots and Transformers. So yeah. So, we'll start with those. Why not? So, if we start with the GoBots. Mm. So, this little guy right here. Spacey. Yeah. Oh, I've half transformed him by accident. I thought he was missing half the back then. No, nope. it wasn't. There you are. So, yeah, spacey. It's a space shuttle. Very simple transformation on these. Just pop that out there. Pull those bits down there. Twist the head so you can get the arms out. And twist the head to show off the face. Very simple transformations, these. Yeah. So these are all like 1981, 1982, um, and they're part plastic, part metal, like a lot of the G1 Transformers were. Yeah. Um, obviously made by Bandai, and then you know Takara helped to get in there and bits and pieces later on for Transformers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah so before these Hasbro are... started Transformers, these came out just before, and they just beat them to the market. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's a little face there. As you can see, it's all got a bit of play wear, very old and metal, so it's scratched the paint a little bit. But I'm still. not surprised being what. Gone. 40, 30 old, 30 odd, mid 30s. Almost 40 years old. Yeah, it will be almost 40 years old if it's 81. Quick maths. 38. I'm I, my maths is usually my stronger point, but yeah. it's I'll very hot in here, as we said. This little guy, Turbo. Unfortunately, he's missing his tyres, but he's in lovely neck other than that. Mm. Again, very simple transformation for Turbo. Flip his head round, pull his legs down, and out. Pop his arms. Pop his arms. There you go. That's Turbo Gobot. Do you care for this one? And lastly on the Gobot front, we have Pumper. Tiny little fire truck. So this is cool. Really nice condition. The chrome's not too bad on the small bits. So there is some chrome on that decal at the front. Decals underneath look pretty decent. If I catch them in the light. Mm. As Muggsy said, yeah, relatively simple transformations on these. You sort of pop the, pull the legs down. Um, the arms fold out, and I've not even done this one yet. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the head, you just pull it out rather than flip it. Oh. This is a bit stiff. Just being very careful, as it is so old. And there you have it. So, it was nice to pick up these. We've not picked up GoBots at the at the car boot before. You just obviously no. don't see them, because they're, as I said, almost 40 years old. Yeah. So, that was awesome to start the day off. Like, the day started a bit slow. We were there from sort of what six ish. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Fixed. That's better. <laughs> yeah, as I was saying. So we were there from early. We had sort of set up quickly, had a quick wander around. Yeah. And we we're a bit disheartened because couldn't really see a lot. There was loads of people. All the lizards were out. Yeah. Because they came and sort of visited us. We watched them pick up a few bits off other people, try and rip people off, uh, oh, and then go terrible. and put them on their own store about five seconds later. Oh. Which is fine if you want to do it, as long as you're happy selling it for a price you're happy for, fine, but. Yeah, no, look despicable. Makes, makes us a bit upset. But when we had another wander round, after a couple, about three more wanders round, Muggsy came back looking very, very happy with a big cardboard box. With so, these in. And we will continue with what was more in that cardboard box. Oh, yeah, right. We also, in that box, we go on to the Transformers now. Well, yeah, was uh, a Decepticon Pretender Octo Punch. Unfortunately, he suffered a bit of damage, a bit of melting on his leg by the look of it. <laughs> um, and he's not got the robot inside. Nah, he's empty. But he is awesome. He is within challenge and going on my bad guy shelf. <laughs> I claimed him before Muggsy could. <laughs> so as you can see, he sort of pops open and you'd find a, um, Decept a Decepticon hiding inside. Because mm. they always were hiding. Yeah. He came with a um, like a underwater like a diver's helmet, um, 
some weapons, like a big sort of fish looking blaster. But he was awesome to pick up. We've had one of the normal pretenders, so uh, the Autobot ones beforehand. Yeah. We had Cloudburst. Yeah, Cloudburst, yeah. He was complete with all of his bits, his whip, his helmet mm. and everything. But he is awesome and he's going on the bad guy shelf, which is currently sat on my window, so which you can't see because it's just out of shot. Yeah. Speaking of bad guy shelf, we'll digress from the Transformers just for a moment. Yeah. From a different stall, I picked up some Action Force. Now we've got this particular guy. A commando looking dude. Uh, this SAS dude. This, I've got no idea what he's meant to be, dude. I always thought he was a, sc a scuba diver or some sort of welder. This, or some sort of bomb disposal. Yeah. He's got a weird, like, hook for a hand. Maybe he was bomb disposal then, that would make mm. sense. Yeah. He looks like I'm... he should have some sort of um, visor. Yeah. Sort of holes on the side of his head. I haven't seen that one before, but... Also, Red Shadow, always happy to find one of these guys. Yeah, especially no, at the car boot. No plenty of people who either army build these or just, you know, everyone always wants one. Mm. So it's always nice to find They're one of those. They're pretty iconic bad guys, to be fair, aren't they? Absolutely. And for my bad guy shelf, Baron Iron Blood. There he is. So he's actually pretty decent. It gave him a bit of a clean. His white came up really nice, actually. Yeah, he was a lot more yellow on Sunday. So there you go. Selection. You give it to me to hold all five at the same time. Because it was a fun. deck of cards. <laughs> Action but force. But they were also to pick up something different. As we have, yeah, we haven't really picked up any of them in a while. Before. Yeah, it's been a little while since we've had some action force. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so right. that was from someone else. Yeah, and a few more. Right, let's go with some more car boot bits. Yeah, well, slightly not? different again. We picked up, as you know, we picked up a few of these recently. It is a large Lego Star Wars clock, stormtrooper. He's a little bit yellow on the front. Well, that makes him look terribly more yellow than he actually is. <laughs> like right up against the camera in the shadow. Um, he does work. I have tested him with some batteries. So it's awesome. He can go with the Jack Sparrow and the Darth Vader that we've already got. Yeah, brilliant. So that was cool. Just going to tidy up a little bit of his yellowing. Yeah. Nice and simple. Bit of a, um, a different thing for us to pick up, but it just shouted at me, so I had to bring it home. Was a die cast. No, we don't usually touch these with the barge pole. No, absolutely not, because it's not my thing, but the colours and the stickers on this were just so good. And mm. when I realised that it was an official Matchbox from 1973, I just thought, you know what, this needs to come home to me. The colours remind me of the Joker Mobile. Okay. That's probably why it stood out to you, really. Yeah, probably. The pink and the green. So yeah, this is a K45. Um, yeah, and it just it's really wicked, because all the stickers are in good nick, the wheels are in decent nick. Um, still got... The little driver inside, he's not been melted or pulled out or anything. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, if you're Very a collector of this damage. sort of thing, let us know what you think about this. Um, as it's diversified us yeah. this time around. A little bit further than normal. Yeah. Can't promise I'm going to pick up any more die casts, but for some reason this one was just shouting at me. So, yeah, that was cool. Right, another boot sale pickup was rather a figure for my turtle shelf. I don't have him. We had a mutating one. But as is the way with these figures, whether they're mutating or not, they always seem to be missing fingers. Hmm. But, as you saw, I've got the, I had the shield in my um, spares box with my accessories box for the turtle spits. And for display purposes, you can't tell. So there you go. So it's awesome to have one of those. I need uh, all of his weapons and the gold sort of grill that's sat on his chest. But awesome to add another one to the collection. Hmm. The hunt for accessories begins again. Mm, continues. Uh, diversifying a little bit more again into the realms of sci-fi. Mm -hmm. We got some Battlestar Galactica. We got a Daggett. Always missing their tail. Always, Always missing their tail. But still, Daggett is a cool one. Um, and an Imperious Leader. A very sorry looking Imperious Leader missing his clothes and his wig. Yeah, he's been hung out to dry somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> but still, like other than that, he's a very good condition figure. He's just missing everything that covers him up. Yeah. And makes him look like not a really odd kind of... Bit alien, of marshmallow. Alien fetus. <laughs> so, yeah. He's all scaly and bobbly on his back, isn't he? Yeah. Like he's got spots. <laughs> Pleasant. Mm. Yum. <laughs> right, going back to... The Transformers. Yes. We picked up a... I mean, you're going to have to help me remind me of the names of these. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I can't remember the name of that one. It is a Decepticon, as it's... you can see from the... Oh, you might not be able to see. Oh, the warmth in here made that glow straight away. Can you see that? Is it going to come up? Oh, maybe just... See, I can see it perfectly on here. It's probably one of these things that on camera... It's not going to come off. ...doesn't show very well. But... I can see it in there, yeah. These were awesome. Another one, uh, Hasbro, not in '86, so a little bit later. Yeah. So this is actually uh, a Transformer. combiner. Oh, is a what? Sorry. He's, he's actually a combiner. He's oh. one part that makes up. Um, oh, killer! Something kill. We had a modern one. What was it called? Oh, Predator King. Predator King. Thank you. He makes up the original Predator King. Oh, one of five. We got there in the end. Uh, I don't know, actually. They tended to be fives or yeah. fours. Either way. Either if way. anybody knows the name of him, stick it in the box. Yeah. Please. Anyway, he's cool. Very Double simple. Decals. Yeah. Very simple transformation on him. He's yeah. uh, actually all in good nick. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's a cool little one there. Uh, along the lines of uh, combiners, we got uh, this little guy, which is one of the pieces that makes up uh, Bruticus. Yes. Uh, we already have Onslaught and all the Bruticus pieces. So we just need the little tank whose name uh, escapes me, and then we can make Bruticus. So I think for the Is time it just being, those three bits. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, well, according to Transformerland, yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with that. If I'm wrong, then you just have to put a comment in the box and tell me I'm wrong. But yeah, he's uh, unfortunately he's missing one one wing, one little wing, but it won't affect uh, the rest of it. So I'm thinking. And before we find it a new home, find the uh, find the tank and make brokers. Yeah, I'd be that for. Because that will be fun. Mm. More along the lines of Transformers, we got two, not just one, but two. In the same box. In the same box. Beach Combers. It's a mini con, right there, mini bot. And here's the two of them. Here's, here's what we transformed like. earlier. Yeah, here's what we transformed earlier. It's like a Blue Peter moment. It is a bit like a Blue Peter moment. There we go. Yeah, beachcomber. Two yeah. of those, both in brilliant nick. Both have a mini con. Yeah, both the little headlamps. Are still all attached. On both of them are still attached, not snapped off. Uh, now, this guy cannot, for the life of me, find his name anywhere. Transformer Land has failed me. Google has failed me. Someone help There's us. There's a couple of them that look similar that become sort of jets. Yeah, um, this one. I had one in my collection somewhere. See, this one's from '91. So this has got to be either very late G1 or the earliest G2. Um, but we looked it up and G1 finishes at 90. Apparently. And G2 starts at 92. Apparently. So being 91 sits somewhere in the middle. But it's yeah. got Decepticon stickers on it, isn't it? Yeah. So it's got to be a Transformer. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Um, it's stamped to Kara and Hasbro. Yeah. So there it is in Transformation. It literally just slots down as opposed to the aerial bots that actually have bits that come off them and yeah. you flip everything the all around off, everything. Turns it around and... So yeah, and the other interesting fact about this is um, it's got that little bit that flips down which you can open up. It's some little spring. Which makes me think, was there something that went in there? I really don't know. But yeah, I don't know if it will come up but there you can see uh, the Hasbro Takara 91 just sometimes we, like, I apologise because sometimes we say, oh, you'll be able to see it if we do this, and then I'll edit the videos and realise you can't see it. So, yeah, you so might be able can, to see that. If you can, great. If you can't, we're well, sorry. Yeah, so, um, lastly, on the Transformers front, we have this one, which Ben can show you there. Can you remember the name of this one? Nope. It transforms twice. So, here it is in train mode. It also transforms into a, like a... Space Jet. shuttle, space shuttle, big purple thing. space shuttle. Yeah. Oh, you did tell me the name of it earlier. Shuttle train. Shuttle something like that. <laughs> it wasn't actually shuttle train because <laughs> that's a, a rubbish name, and they were definitely more inventive than. Yeah, for than someone that. who loved Transformers so much as a child, can I remember their names? No, uh, me either. I'm terrible at remembering their names, apart from Inferno. Then this guy's got his fists and everything. He is in really good shape. It just doesn't have all the added bits, obviously. But yeah. So he's a nice fire truck. He's got all his ladder and everything there. His little bit of uh, hose on the side. 
Very nice. So, I tell you what, let's do a little transformation, because this one actually is, if I remember rightly, is quite straightforward to transform. Yeah. So, there's this one in the sort of the rocket rocket mode, like a bit like the spacey. It is a little bit, isn't it? It's very similar. Yeah. And here in all of his robot glory, there is I've just said it, Inferno. <laughs> <laughs> See it, told you, terrible. So yeah, both his fists, everything through there, heads all in, good nick and tact. And all of his tires are there. Yeah. There you go. He's just missing a small part to clip one of the arms. Onto the yeah. side, which doesn't affect any of the transforming or either, either mode, really. No, it doesn't affect it slightest. It just isn't quite as tight when it's together, but unless you're going to be doing this, shaking it around, you're never going to notice. So, right. happy days. The last pickup from the... No, a couple more pickups from the car boot, actually. Yeah. This dude from uh, Dragon Force. Not to be confused with the band. Yeah. Uh, uh, and sort of ninja-looking dude. He reminds me of one of the ninjas from um, the film, The Three Ninjas. Yeah, and looks like Chuck Norris. Yeah. And his action still works. Someone's getting a good knee to the knee. <laughs> up there. What year is he? Uh, I cannot remember. He's 80s. Uh, made by Lannard. It just says Lannard Toys. There you go. But yeah. well, I think it must be 80s. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Um, we found a picture of it on card online. So let's put that up now. There you go. Screams 80s. Dragon Force. What a ninja. So yeah, that was a bit of diversity, picking that up. Yeah. It's almost a bootleg, but not quite. Hmm. And uh, we got a nice little trap jaw from the boot sale as well. So he's missing quite a few of his bits, as you can tell. But the reason I picked him up is because so often... The loop on the head is the, always snapped off. Yeah, that's missing or snapped. Yeah. I, I mean, all snapped, missing because it's snapped. Yeah. He's not, he didn't have any of his arm attachments. Just that bit. Yeah. And the uh, chest plate. What coup is he? He is a Malaysia. Oh, okay. Yeah. I never know which are the more desirable ones. I think it changes. Yeah. I yeah. guess it depends on collector, really. Yeah, absolutely. So, following along those lines... Well, well, we the last thing we picked up from the car boot, just before we move along, is... Oh, I'd forgotten about this. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers bed set. Just a single one. I just sort of picked it up more so because it would just look really cool when we're at shows. Having it, instead of having a sort of dull tablecloth, we can have one of these. Yeah. It means we can look like we're twins with Aaron at Empire because he's got one of these. <laughs> now I remember why it caught my eye because I remember seeing it on his. Well, there you go. But the pillow had all the um, has the logo on it, and then the sheet itself. I won't unfurl it all properly, but it's got um. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> I'm just trying all to be all the glamorous. rangers on it, and then on the inside. There's like a giant, it's like a reversible one. Oh. You've got like a full scene in it. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Look at that. So, yeah, that was awesome to pick up. Start with a single bit. Oh, actually, along with that, because I was chatting to a bloke and he did me a, a bundle, we picked up um, a, I won't show, well, I will show you it. It's missing a lot of pieces. <laughs> I've just emptied it onto the floor. It wasn't complete. The box is mashed. But it was pretty cool oh. to pick up some, uh, as you can see, modern Thundercats. It is the Tower of Terror. Tower of Omens. Sorry, my bad. But it also came with half a Thunder Tank in it. There you go. There's, there's the door. But what I didn't realise about these <laughs> is, if I get the lion figure that goes with it, that you can't do that. I know you can't. I have to do this. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's one half open. To rub the cat's nose. Ah, <laughs> uh, there uh, we go. There we go. That's quite a cool little feature. Yeah. I mean, completely impractical for Paul, I know. You oh, know. yeah. But we've got sort of part of the pieces. We're just missing the big centre column that yeah. most of the other stuff fixes to. But it came with a load of figures. Uh, old man Mumra, new... Well, then evil Mumra when he sort of goes big with his wings and bits and pieces. Uh, somebody's belt with a tiny pistol in it. Uh, two Wiley kits with their surfboards. So yeah, lots of bits and pieces. Stuff. And now all over the floor. Yeah, so we won't show you because it's no. everywhere. Oh, and half a Thunder Tank. Oh, there you go. Ah, oh, there you go. Almost lastly on the pickups front for this week in the mail after doing a lovely little trade with uh, another chap on the Tinterweb. 
We got another Malaysia coup trap jaw yep. with his little loop intact. So just I'd already done the trade for these and then happened to find the other one at the boot sale. So when I want a chicken dinner. I've got more bits to complete this one that are also Malaysia, but he did come with one of his attachments at least, which is cool. And other than that, he's in pretty good nick. So almost lost snarf off my hat. <laughs> almost, there you go. Um would you like to show this one too? Yeah. There you go. Uh an original horde trooper. This is one of my favourites. He's in really good condition. I didn't realise until uh, Moxie was showing me that these are rubber. Mm. Apart from the plasticky chest bit. Which yeah. We'll see if you know these. You can push down and open it all up. Yeah. I don't really understand what the purpose was to be able to open it up. So if anybody can sort of enlighten me as to um, why you did that, that would be awesome. Yeah. Just for a bit of random knowledge. It's the Malaysia coup on this one again. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, but not least, on the He-Man Master of the Universe front is a Battle Armor He-Man. Now, it's a bit of wear and tear in the plastic, as in, you can see there's a tiny little chip there, but the lovely thing about this is that play wear other than that is to a minimum, and... His hair's got no damage. Yep, none at all, and working armor. So there's first one, and... They're taking real second damage one. now. There you go. So yeah, all works really nicely, which... Doesn't always happen on these because the mechanism gets stuck and jammed or just loose as hell. So it's nice to find one that works. Yeah, works really nice as well. So there you go. And he is a he's a Taiwan. Oh. So you know the standard. Yes. Right. So Muggsy's been out and about today. I have doing a bit of shopping. I have. Uh, and where did you probably do retro toy hut? I did go to retro toy hut in Southampton and picked up an Ultimate Warrior. Series one, Hasbro. There's a little jumping mechanism. Yeah. All works very nicely. He is in awesome condition. He's almost perfect. Yeah. Probably said it before on earlier videos, but he was my favourite wrestler. Not sure why, but just yep, yeah, loved him. You liked his green pants, didn't you? That was obviously it. Wasn't anything to do with the fact that he did some crazy warrior dance around the edge of the ring. <laughs> It's such an odd mechanism for them to have, isn't it? A, a what? Odd mechanism. A mechanism. I yeah. said mechanism, you're <laughs> being nasty to me. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, on the pickup fronts, may have delved into beginning a new collection of things. Um, as you well know, I like things like Megazords and Combiners and things that lock together. Mm -hmm. And I went to Forbidden Planet and they had... Very late to join the party. Very late to join the party, but I... Just, looked at it and my little cousin's got a few of these and they look like the G1 so I went and got a um, Power of the Primes Grimlock. Now, I know what you're thinking, oh my word, you opened it, but it's yeah. a Transformer, obviously I can't leave it in the packet. And as he plans to have gotten all the other ones to go with it, you got if you want to combine them, you've got to open them. Yeah, so I need to look at the Dinobots now so I can make the, the big, big one. one. So yeah, there he is. Now, they've used all the G1 colours. Uh, obviously not exactly the same uh, as the mould, but they've uh, kept it relatively close, um, which is why I like see. it. As you can see, there he is next to the G1. Yeah, terribly It's much shocked. smaller. Or the G1. Or this one. The G1 one is much oh, yeah, smaller. Oh yeah, G1 body-wise is much smaller. You can see how wide set this guy is by comparison. But yeah, my one's missing half of his body. Yeah. The tails are a lot different. Yeah. The tail on yours is giant. Mind you, I don't it think is. mine was meant to... The original ones weren't meant to lock together, were they? Some of them were. No, but I mean this uh, one. I don't know if that one was. And the the action to sort of show the fists is slightly different. Yeah, these ones... are slidey. These ones fold out. Yeah. Rather than slide in. But, yeah, so... They were, it was, it's cool. Yeah, very, very cool. Way. So... It's the first right. modern toy you've bought in a long time, isn't it? It's the first modern toy I've bought in forever. And I'm actually really happy with it. And as you can see, it's they've kept it pretty close to the G1. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I'll tell you, we'll just quickly edit in and show you them both transformed. So they're a little bit different. Yeah. When they're all transformed. Not massively. No, I think they've done a pretty good job, to be fair, on yeah. these. Like, I think they all they, they do transform in sort of a similar way. Sort of the, the end pieces end up being... Roughly in the same place, like the head's tilted back and the the body sort of yeah. flipped out. But it's cool. Yeah. It's a lot lighter than this one. Obviously, this one having metal parts to it makes it a lot heavier. 
unfortunately, you know, just not made quite as well. Sorry, Hasbro. They're not made to. They're not built to last as well as they used to be. I no. think that's Have to be a, a lot more careful when transforming this one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, very happy with that. So guys, that's what we picked up this week. Uh, we got a few bits and pieces already lined up in the post for next week. We do. We we might be at a car boot this weekend. We haven't actually talked about it or decided what we're going to do. It's obviously weather dependent because today's been rubbish weather. Well, it started off pretty rank uh, and got better as the day went on. So you never know. We'll yeah. see how we go. But anyway, thank you for joining us. If you haven't checked us out on our social media, please do so. It's Instagram at Bugsy's Toy Box. And Facebook at Bugsy's Toy Box, which we tell you every week. So, so if you're not, you've got no excuse. Not really. Just copy the link below. Absolutely. Hit the bell, hit the like, leave us a comment. Please do. We love chatting with you guys on here, in, on Instagram, on Facebook, and just sort of meeting more like-minded people. So, yeah, while you're hitting all those bells and likes and bits and pieces, so you can tune in and see us next time, until next time, keep it unpunched.